Hi everybody, welcome back, that's Rudy. We are now, we see now on my notebook uh, Minecraft client running which is uh, connected, I mean the notebook through a hub to this little PCB here. Uh, on the PCB we have an AVR microcontroller 328, that's this little chip here which is connected to an Ethernet controller and the Ethernet controller is connected through this little device to the Ethernet port. Behind we have a um, relay port and a little lamp. So what we now gonna do is we start the Minecraft client, the multiplayer client, and what we can do before is shortly check if the board is ready. So if I go to this comment prompt and do a ping to the address, we see the board is up and ready and behind also we see the little red LED flashing that means we have access to the Ethernet port. Okay, now let's start the multiplayer client and we see the AVR Dumpcraft server which is running on the AVR microprocessor. Let's join the server and we land on a little island. This little island we have here has four rows on it. Each row is a byte and the first row we can define an address and on the second row we can define the value what we want to write in to this address. So it's like we are in the little microprocessor in the inside of it and directly switch the registers. The second two rows um, are also bytes and there we can read an address. So what we now gonna do first is we set the data direction register that's on address seven to output. Okay, so let's go here to the address definition and put on the first three switches that's bit 0, 1 and 2 and then we have here the address 7. That's the address of the data direction register of port 3. What wanna we write into that? So that we can define here. So we wanna put the first two bytes bits of, of the port C to output. So now we have set it here and we can trigger. That means it writes it once into the chip. So now it's triggered and we have defined the two first bit of port C to output. Now I can show the last two rows if we now want to read what is written into the, in the data direction register, we can also put here the first three switches on and we see here what is written in the address 7. So in address 7 we have the value 47 and that is what we have set here and triggered into the register. So next we want to write a value out to port C. Port C has the address 8, so we put on the first switch and then we see here that's the address 8 and we want to write into the value 3. That means we want to set the first two bits of the port C to high. Now if we're going to go here and trigger it, the lamp should switch on. And that's the connection between Minecraft and the real world. So just trigger it and you see the light, light goes on. So what we can do next is 
we can not trigger it, we can latch it. So I put latch on and then I can go here and switch off and on and off and on. And what can we imagine to be the next? We can do a house automation, automation system in Minecraft. That would be great. So I wish a uh, very nice day and um, goodbye.